Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Today I'm doing a review of The Stolen Air by Holly Black. I love the Cruel Prince series. I know I've probably spoken about it multiple times now. So when I found out that Holly Black was doing a, another book in the same world, but not following on from the Cruel Prince series, I was a bit nervous. I felt like it was good and could have been left alone. So this book is, it is a follow on from the end of the Cruel Prince series. However, it is about different characters. I'm gonna try my best to do this review without spoiling the Cruel Prince series. So here we go. Um, in the Cruel Prince, there's a character called Oak. He's a little boy. And this book is basically him grown up more. He's about 17, I think. And it was interesting to read. I gave it three stars, so it was okay. Just a plain okay. I probably will reread it. I know that there's another one set to come out. This is going to be a duology. So I think when the next one comes out, I probably will reread this in preparation for that. But it didn't fill me with excitement and joy the way The Cruel Prince did, which is a shame. But there were parts of it that I loved. So the character of Oak, he is great. I really like him. Um, it was kind of weird reading about him growing up, especially because he, in the last book, he's a child and now he's like this sassy teenager. He, he has goat legs and every time that gets mentioned, it's a bit traumatic to be reminded of. I don't want to think about his goat legs. Like, anyway. Um, yeah, but he, he's, a, he's a good character. He's quite funny. He's interesting. He's a bit of a pushover. I wish he would have like stood up for himself a bit more. He was a bit flat sometimes and I just wanted him to be like, no, and fight back a bit more. He was a bit too blasé. But yeah, he, he was a good character. He was probably the highlight of the book, but he wasn't the person narrating the story, which I didn't know about at the time of reading. So I never read the blurb on anything. It's something that I need to learn to start doing because it's bitten me one time too many. But he is not the narrator. He is a, a side character where I thought this book was all going to be from his perspective and all about him. I think this, the next book in the duology is going to be from his perspective. So I'm looking forward to that one a lot more. I really enjoyed the world building in this book. It's set in Elfheim, which is the same place as the Cruel Prince series. This is a place where the fae and magical creatures exist and there is also the human world uh, on the outside of that. So it was nice to go back into Elfheim. We went and explored some places that we hadn't been to before. So it was good to see the world expanded, learn a bit more about the, the lore and meet some new characters as well. And there was also the occasional moment where Holly Black would write about characters from the previous trilogy. Um, so it was nice to see them get mentioned in passing, but there was definitely nothing of substance about them. This was very much a, a separate, these characters are their own thing, which was, which was nice. It was good, but it would have been nice to have had a bit more, especially because the, this, this fell so flat for me. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but the ending to this book was really good. So it gets one star for the character of Oak being great. It gets one star just for the expansion of the Elfheim world, Elfheim world building. That was hard to say. And this extra star for the ending, which was so good because one of the reasons why it didn't get four stars was the, how slow the plot was. It was so slow moving. I felt like it took so long to get to the point. And then when you finally realize what the plot was, it was a bit like, is that it? There's there's nothing more going on. This is, this is it. It was a bit of a boring story, honestly. And it just kind of felt like it had been really padded out unnecessarily. I think the problem came with the person narrating, which I'll get onto in a minute. Um, but yeah, the, the plot was slow. And yeah, it, it wasn't great. I think 
the reason I loved the Cruel Prince series was for how fast moving the plot was and how it wasn't really romance based, it was all political allies, which this book is the same. It's very political, it's very royalty and politics and less about romance, but mm, there's a bit scattered in there. But it just didn't have quite the same punch that the Cruel Prince series did. And I think it is unfair that I keep comparing them, but at the same time, it's based around a similar set of characters, so I feel like there is allowed to be a comparison between the two. I would count it as like a brother and sister series. They're not completely different. The final thing before I seem like too much of a moaner is the person who narrated this story, who is Ren, who was in the Cruel Prince series and I completely forgot she existed, to the point where I had to Google her, because she was obviously being explained as if you already know her, which we should already know her, and I just didn't know who she was, couldn't remember. So I had to Google basically this summary of the final book of the Cruel Prince series, The Queen of Nothing. I had to Google the plot of that to then remember who she was, to be like, oh, okay, I understand what's happening here. But she was such a boring, character. She was so dull and just there were moments where she was in peril and it was a bit like just I don't care. I don't care if she survives this situation or not. I don't feel bad for her. I don't. She was just so flat and so disinterested and she was the one narrating the story, not Oak. And I think that was my biggest disappointment. I think if I'd have known going in that Oak wasn't the narrator, I, maybe I would have felt differently about this story, maybe I still would have been disappointed going in knowing that, but yeah, that was, that was a shame. Overall, I enjoyed it. As I say, I will reread it when the next one comes out, um, but I don't think it was necessary. I don't think she had to write this book. I think she could have moved on to brand new things and done brand new projects and it's a bit like yeah you could read the cruel prince series and never know this book exists and you would be perfectly happy in your life and that's probably the way i'd recommend it unless the next one in the duology is insane then obviously this might change my feelings on this book but for now it's a bit average it was okay yeah never mind it was an experience. Yay! I hope you enjoyed this review and if you feel indifferent to me, let me know. I'm curious. I feel like I've only really seen people online who love this book. I feel like I'm in the min minority of feeling a bit indifferent about it. Some people love it. Occasionally I've seen people that just don't like it at all, but I feel a bit... Eh, give or take it. I'm easy. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'm curious. And if there's any parts that you disagree with my opinion strongly, let me know. Or if you agree. Great. And I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.